the most advanced portable radiological water filtration system available with ionic absorption micron filtration. You can see I have two different types of portable filtration systems here. I have one that's a pitcher. I actually have several of these. I've got a case of filters. And I also have the personal use squeeze bottle. Both pitcher and squeeze bottle type filtration come with easy step instructions. The pitcher type takes what I call a canister style filter. After you backflow it, remove this portion, screws off, and then see the O-ring here. You screw it up underneath this portion. This filter is supposedly good for six months or 150 gallons. The squeeze bottle type filtration system takes what I call an inline or straw type filter. Of course, after you backflow it, you screw that up. I'll demonstrate. This is supposedly good for up to 100 gallons. 100 gallons. Of course, with both style filters, you can extend the life by backflowing them. And of course, the more turbidity, the more contaminants, the less use you'll get out of your filter. And these filters cover a wide variety of things be it Giardia, Cryptosperdian for your common use, be it chemicals, dissolved solids, industrial waste, agricultural waste, it's going to cover these things. And that's what people are dealing with even now today because of a hurricane named Sandy. They've got contaminated water. People in the homes with water treatment plants down, they are getting water, but it's contaminated. And you don't know what it's contaminated with. They're under a boil advisory. People that don't have the water coming out of the spigot, they're taking water from other sources. Well, it could be contaminated with anything. These are going to help you take care of that problem. Something like this, whether it's from the pond, from the stream, from the puddle, from the spigot, through here, it's going to give you enough by filling this, letting it flow, filling it, let it flow. It's going to give you enough for hygiene, things like that, cleaning up, washing yourself as well as drinking. But also, when you're on foot or just for carrying around with you, the personal squeeze bottle. Very easy to use. You've seen these used before, like with the Brita. All you do is, and I'll, I'll demonstrate it, all you do is pour water into it and it works. With this, first of all, you have to set it up. You take it apart. You have to set up your filters. And... This is most important that you don't contaminate this. This is the part that you're going to retrieve your water from. So you're not going to contaminate this. You're going to fill this. You're going to make sure you properly attach this filter to what I would call the straw portion. Take this off. Now it's advised that you prepare the filter ahead of time by using the backflow system. Two reasons to backflow your filter. One is before initial use and you're going to use this device. It's simply a cup type rubber thing that you screw onto the filter in the same place you would screw the straw. And it does thread on. There it goes. Now when an emergency disaster happens if you have water pressure in your system, your regular spigot system, that water, even though the water treatment plant might be contaminated, the water in your pipes probably will not be. So you simply put that onto your spigot, force a little water through there, it's going to prime your filter. Now, you're going to do the same thing after much use and turbidity or whatever clogs your filter, you're going to backflow it. You're going to have to be creative in getting clean water to backflow this in some circumstances. Now say you've been using it a long time and you need to backflow it, well save some of that water that you've cleared to backflow it with. Use a bladder system if you have to, put it in your mouth and force it through to backflow it. For initial startup, say your pipe water is contaminated, well have out the toilet tank or whatever. Find water, boil water, do whatever you have to do and prime your filter. But there are just some ideas on backflowing the filter. I also have other means, you know, you boil your water. Many ways to boil. As long as you have a boil container and you can get flame, you can boil water. 
I have my own personal things that I've made, filtration systems. There's tablets, there's chlorine, there's things you could buy in the store, but none of those cover all contaminants like this does. And I'll give a list of the contaminants that this does cover. Of course, it's not going to cover everything, but I'm talking about things that are common, things that are likely in a flood, in a hurricane, earthquake, natural disaster, whatever, terrorist attack. It's going to cover the radiological contaminants. All right, so I just wanted to put this out there. Yeah, it's a little pricey, but it's just something else to add to your prep kit. It's portable. Use it at home when you're bugging in, but it's something you could take with you to bug out. Anyway, I'm looking at the statistics on it, and it's tested to remove and reduce up to 100% of the following radiological contaminants. Okay, gross beta, radium-226, uranium, cesium-137, radioactive iodine-131, strontium, plutonium, radium-222. Uh, it also, of course, removes offensive taste, odors, chlorine, silt, sand, and sediment. It's not good for salt water, but chemicals, industrial VOCs, that's volatile organic compounds, PVCs, THMs, detergents, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, insecticides, DDT, pharmaceuticals, etc. Dissolved solids, fluoride, heavy metals such as aluminum, arsenic, asbestos, cadmium, chromium-6, copper, lead, mercury, etc. So, you know, there's a pretty good list of stuff that this is going to filter. And it simply works like you've seen other filter systems work. You fill the top part up, it drains through the filter and fills the bottom portion up and pours that way. So I had a couple questions about the fuelless generator. I did get that also from Morningside Ministries as well as the water filters and my sun oven, Morningside Ministries. I wait till they gave specials or deals, package deals, etc. when I buy from them. Uh, I know that not everyone's going to be inclined to watch that kind of programming. I do watch them on occasion. I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not pushing opinions or views or religious views, political, etc. I'm just uh, someone who understands some of what they're talking about and I like their products. So uh, if you want good products, uh, unique products, different products, it's a good place to go and find them at a good price. I looked on eBay and this unit, the same unit was going for $2,000. I got it for $1,700. You know, I got the package deal at a nice price. And uh, I also got the Sun Oven package deal at a nice price from them. There's other items that I'm currently getting. And there's other items that I currently have that uh, I also think are really well-made products. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't push any uh, political views or my religious views. I might hint around to them occasionally, but uh, this channel is, is dedicated to prepping and survival and other things, and I'm just putting out products for others to see that I thought were worth having, that I'm using for my prepping needs. I also get prepping things from what I make and from regular Army Navy stores and uh, camping stores, etc. You have to decide what works for you. I'm just putting out what works for me and uh, my ideas. So, Good luck with your prepping and uh, stay tuned. I'll be putting out more videos on stuff that I've acquired.